Today's lesson, we're going to take a look at using motion path uh, to do a complex motion for our object so that uh, rather than going in a straight line, we can get it to do these really cool curves. So um, with, that we, with uh, looking at the, uh, the paper plane animation, we take a look at getting our own paper airplane to fly. So let's uh, start a new file, Action Script 3, and we'll create our paper plane first. So new symbol, we'll call it paper plane. And we'll draw something in here. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit because the nose of the plane is going to be a little on the longer side. So I'm just kind of drawing the back end and pointing up and to the right a little bit. So we'll get the, the wings in here. <coughs> zoom out a little bit more. I guess I started too large there. And we'll get the folds coming in here. Now the one thing we won't be able to do is get that fold to change as it's flying. And let's just fill this in a little bit. So we'll get a shadow color in there for the inside. And we'll fill it with white on the wings. And I'm just going to check to make sure that there's actually some color there. Yep, we've got color. So I'm back out to my scene. And we'll go to our library. There's my paper plane, so we'll just put it on the stage here. It's huge. Uh, so we'll scale that down a little bit. Okay, so there we've got the paper airplane. And we'll give it some time on the stage. So here it is on the first layer. We'll give it about 100, for, well, maybe 110 frames here and fill that in with F5. And we're going to tween that right away. Okay, now we want to get it coming out here and you know how uh, paper airplanes kind of spiral and will float off a little bit. So we're going to draw that path with a pencil. Um, to make the path we're going to need a new layer, so I'm adding in a layer here. And we'll grab the pencil tool and it doesn't matter what color you draw this in, the path won't actually show up when you render this. So making sure I'm on that path layer, I'm just going to draw something out so it goes out and then kind of spirals down and then maybe flies off the page here, okay? So to select that whole path, I'm just going to click on the layer name, and so this is all selected here, and then cut that. Command X on your keyboard to cut. And then we'll select this whole layer and Command V to paste that path onto that tween. So now that this object will follow that path. So Command V to paste that. And you can see here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, uh, the green motion path and, and uh, our paper airplane is following that path. So let's just scrub that to see what that looks like. Now we've got a bit of a problem here in that the, the plane is not sort of pointing in the direction that it's going. And it's the same, same deal as the rocket way back a few days ago. So we'll get the plane to orient to the path. So I'm going to get my selection tool, click on that motion, and go to the properties, and there's my checkbox to orient to path. So now when we scrub here, it's going to follow that. Now one other little thing, the, 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 see how it's kind of sliding sideways here? So at the beginning, what I'll do is I'll rotate that a little bit so that the nose of the paper airplane is on the actual green line there. So we get something like that. So let's scrub that now much better. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make it look like it's kind of flying off in the distance here. So on the very last frame, I'll scale this down so the plane is even smaller than it was at the beginning. As we go back, the plane's bigger. So now we go smaller, 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 smaller as it's going through these loops. So it'll make it look like it's going away. So let's check that. And that's not a bad motion. So the last thing I'm going to do is just give it a bit of a sky. So we'll change the stage color to blue, and uh, that'll be done. So maybe there's a nice blue color in here for our sky. And that'll make the white of the paper airplane stand out a little bit. Kind of looks like a blue-green, but not bad. Okay, and uh, check out the 
alien spaceship using the same concept and see if you can come up with how to do that on your own.